We are continuing in Shavi Potadik. We come in Parak Alad, page 21. We're going to go two lines back in order to be able to continue the matter. The Savior writes, all the tests, all the pain, all the toiling that a person has through toiling in Torah, in the end he's going to have great success. This is where we stopped yesterday. We want to continue from here. Anything that comes up to you through toil and pain, it's the, the wealth is great. You're not going to take anything from this world besides the service of Hashem from this world to the next world. The only thing you're going to be able to take with you is your Torah and your mitzvot and the avod of Hashem that you do. The Yisurim Abayim are the Esek and Mitzvah, Rabbi Tal, listen to this carefully. The Yisurim, the sufferings that come when a person has to do a Mitzvah, who atzum venora me'od. It's very great. Vishum ish lo yimkor otam zuchriyot, afilu be'at kol hon likula alma. No person is going to sell his merits for one Mitzvah that is going to get the Schafford in the next world. For all the money in the world, you ask him today, you want to sell the Mitzvah of the Tefillin? Nobody's going to sell it to you. <clears throat> since Chazal said, since Chazal said that the sufferings are dear, they are dear. These sufferings, these pains that a person goes through, whether through learning Torah, whether through, or whether to doing mitzvot rabotai, these things are a great success for him in the world to come. He's going to profit without any measurement. He doesn't, we don't even realize now. The suffering, the pains that a person does, or that he goes through when he's learning Torah and doing mitzvot, this is Hashem doing it with His kindness in order for you to be able to have a bigger olam haba. Every every divine assistance, to all the divine assistance that a person is going to get, Zochin Ayidei Mashalom Din Bitzaar. They are only going to get it, they're going to only merit to divine assistance only if they learn in pain. Not in comfort, in pain. When it's hard and a person pushes himself, you're going to be able to get Siyat the Shemayim. Ve'akol Yishalem B'Meshach Hazman. Everything will be paid within the duration of time. Ve'lo Nevad Shum Tsaar V'Shum Yigi'ah. Rabotai, not one toiling, not one pain that you told in Torah or you did for a mitzvah, nothing is going to get lost. Chas v'chalil, chas v'shalom. Ki hakol ba b'cheshbol amayla. Everything comes in Shemaim, everything is written down. V'chol ha'igi ba Torah kedoshah hu b'geder, shelach lachamech apone amayim. All the Torah that a person has to do in our Torah kedoshah, it falls under the, under the boundary, send your bread on the waters. <clears throat> on the face of the waters. Why? Because he says for sure. According to the toil that you're going to toil, your, your uh, toiling is going to be paid off. Without any doubt, Rabotai. How they say, when it comes to the finish line, push it, give it all you've got. Right? When a person knows, he's close to another mile left, he ran around 20 miles, now's not the time to give up. Right now, Rabotai, person, as we get older and older and older, this is the only mile that we have before we get to Olamaba. So that's what he says over here, Rabotai. According to the Yigiya, the more you toil, the more schar, the more reward you're going to get, without any doubt. Rabotai, listen to this. Sufferings will be in any way you want it. You want it, sufferings are going to come. They're going to come. Vashrei, and praiseworthy. Limishi Shomer Derecha Torah. Praiseworthy is the one who guards the ways of Torah. Those are the Yusurim that you wanted to come. The suffering through the Torah, through the mitzvot, it's hard for you. You can't do it. You can't get up. You can't sit longer than one hour, two hours, and you still do it. You can't wake up in the morning and you do it. How the suffering is going to come to you? Through the mitzvot and the Torah. Why? Because when it's hard for you. Can you imagine now you want to speak Lashonara? And you stop yourself 
For that alone, when you eat yourself, you're getting a lot of schar. You have, you have no idea. Ki azay yeshlo avur otan yisurim schar nora v'nizhi ba'olam haba. Because then, for those sufferings, for example, you wanted to close your mouth when you want to speak Lashara. You want to say something bad. You wanted to show off. You held yourself back. You, you, didn't, you couldn't continue learning. You broke yourself and you continued learning about Tai. He says, that is a suffering that he says, you're going to get great word and for eternity in the next world. Any suffering that a person suffered over here through the fulfillment of Torah, it's going to be counted as a great merit. A person should be happy. In sufferings that a person already went and he actually stood by them. Rabbi, I just want to bring something over here. It doesn't only necessarily have to be through Yisurim, through learning Torah and doing mitzvot, wake up in the morning. How many of us sometimes we walk in the street, Lo'oleinu? And you have a potifera, right? You have a girl that's a modest comes across you. Rabotai, at that moment you start breaking yourself, that is Yisurim. If you don't attend a place where you're not supposed to be, that is Yisurim. Rabotai, anything that when you do for Hashem and you're breaking your nature, that is Yisurim. So the Yisurim are going to come either way. The only question is, how do you want to erase it? You could erase it through Torah, you could erase it through making, through keeping your mouth quiet. You could erase it from not looking where you're not supposed to, from not going place where you're not supposed to. All this, Rabotai, comes into that calculation. That's what he says over here. If a person already went through this, he saw him. Right? He wanted to chas shalom do, he wanted to break shomer gear. He held himself back, he held himself back. It's an Isayan, it's a big test. But he was able to stand at Rabotai. Those things are suffering. Afflictions. So he says to one more time, A person should be happy on the sufferings that came to him and he was able to overpower them. How many of us have this whole desire of watching, of cursing Lolenu, of eating food more than we have to? How many? Rabotai, if you're able to stop yourself, able to break yourself, you will see these are Yisurim. Let this be the Yisurim than anything else. Chas v'shalom. smak by Yisurim, but however it's very important over here. You should not be upset, Chas Shalom. Oh, it's hard. I cannot do it. Incom no, no, no. You should be happy that this is what your trials and tribulations are in this and in nothing else. Why? Because okay, he says, The longer you're going to go ahead and you're going to be happy in these afflictions, these sufferings, they're going to go and they're going to listen. It's not going to be hard, Rabotai. Only in the beginning it's very hard. But afterwards it gets much, much easier. But anybody who complains of them, Rabotai, well, I have to put on film every morning. I have to come again and learn Torah. I have to go again. The rabbi this every day. They have their own halachot, correct? Okay. Rabotai, if he's, they're always going to complain, these problems are only going to become harder for you. It's going to become bigger. Not only you're not going to get reward for what you're doing, but also you are actually going to be Punish on them. Rabbi, I just want to finish with, with the Torah here. This is what's all, all old Aleph. The next piece is going to continue with the great Ches that Hashem does by always testing us through this type of Yisurim of Torah and Mitzvot. But I want to just share with you guys a very small thought that we learned today. Masechet Berachot. What it means to learn Torah? We were learning today, right? We say the Brach of Asher Bacharbanu. If we take the Brach of Asher Bacharbanu, what means Asher Bacharbanu, Rabbi? It came to my mind, so I said it to some person, but we have to look at it like this. Hashem said, I chose you out of all the nations and I gave you the Torah, correct? We say the Harevna, we say the first brach of al Torah, Ashkaram, we say the Asok Bidurei Torah. Then we say the Harevna, Hamelamet Torah Lama Yisrael. What means Hamelamet Torah Lama Yisrael? That means that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, He Himself is teaching you Torah. He Himself, nobody else. So how can we not want to learn from Him? What about Asher Bachar Banu Mikola Amim? Rabotai, look and listen to this. So somebody told me to say something very nice. Rabbi, I can't do it. I can't. It's just not for me. Said Rabotai, put it like this. If Hashem chose you to learn this Torah, what means you cannot do it? So let's put it to a realistic case. You might not like it, but you have to live with it. You go, you choose a girl. You choose a beautiful girl to be your wife. She marries you, correct? She's for you. You chose her. Just like Hashem chose us as Jewish people to learn the Torah, you chose her to be your wife. Do you know what she tells you in the middle of uh, the relationship six months later? Big deal you chose me, but I have no interest in you right now. I have other guys, friends from, 
from my college years, from my high school years, that I didn't finish my affairs with Lolainu. Rabbata, is the husband going to be upset or not? He's going to be ticked off. You know why? Because how could it be? I chose you to be my wife and here you are. You tell me you have other, other chaveirim over there. You have other guys. What does this mean, Rabotai? Let me put it to you like this, Rabotai. It's very sad. It goes on, but this is very sad. Because this is what we do every single day. When you have an opportunity to learn Torah, what do people do? I can't learn. I have this. I have that. I have to watch this. Rabotai, you know what you're doing? You're telling Hashem, you chose me to be. Yo, Kala, you chose me to be the person who learned Torah? Well, Hashem, you know something? Well, I have other affairs. NFL, NBA, NHL, soccer, movie, shmovie. What do you got there? What's up, shmats up? I don't know. What do you got now? What do you have that thing? PS6. Now, PS6, whatever. Rabbi Sai. No, there's a channel. They have this thing. Uh, all the movies. No. Netflix. Thank you. Rabbi Sai, man. Only if we knew the Geonim like this. Netflix, Rabotai. Rabotai, how do we put all this nonsense before Hashem? He chose us. He chose us. Rabotai, remember this always. Whatever people do is midah connected midah. People always worry their wife cheating on them, the husband cheating on them, Rabotai. However you are with Hashem, that's Hashem is going to be with you. Hashem is going to send you a reflection from, through your wife or through your husband. So remember this, Rabotai. Hashem, He chose us to learn Torah. When you say, you want to watch this, you want to do this, you want to go there, you want to go to the beach, all your excuses, you want to have an affair with other people but Hashem. Rabotai, you're doing big problems. It's Asur Rabotai. Same thing over here, Rabotai. When a woman, she comes and she gets married, she cannot decide now, I want to go and I want to be with this guy. No, no, Rabotai. She's stuck to one guy. So to we, Rabotai. We don't have that option. People think they have an option of learning Torah. No, you don't have an option. It's an obligation. This is where we make that mistake. Just like Yom Kippur people keep, Rosh Hashanah, Shabbat, Tefillin, Rabotai, Torah, also is an obligation. Who asks you, you want to learn, you don't want to learn. I'm tired, I'm not tired now, Rabotai, I tell you one thing. The only people that can't complain are the people in the cemetery. If you are alive, come and learn Torah. Baruch Adonai Olam. Amen. Amen.